what that is. It might be a half dime. I don't think that's what that is. Oh yeah, it's a seated. I got something big around in this hole. Right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, no doubt. It's a cut real. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, that's the third piece out here today. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys, I'm out at the plantation. This corn's getting tall, but I didn't notice this before. Where they cleared these ditches, they left a big wide swath down through there. And they cleared these. These were pretty, had a lot of brush on them. So I can run down through here. I'll be careful with snakes and see if I can catch anything. Working my way down to that stand of trees, and then beyond, there's a beach area. Tides at like 7 30 tonight, and it's still light then, so I was gonna head down there and uh, see what I can find. I found a colonial copper out there. You couldn't read it one time, and some other interesting stuff. I work my way down there, see what I can find, but you can see how big this area is. It's huge. Well, there's the truck. First signal. Not sure what it is. Wow. That might be a lead bag seal. Huh. Or smashed piece of lead of some sort. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a design on it or there's just scratches on it or what. Well, a little more detail, but I can't really tell what it is. Let's see if that uh, wire is in there. I don't see any wire in there. All right, I think it's cool though. All right guys, not a ton of signals. A lot of aluminum, like there is out here. But uh, got a high tone in here, 1239. And it's in this ball right here. May just be a modern penny or something, but I'm gonna crack it open live and see what it is. Yep. Let's see. Good old one. Yeah, it's a wheat penny. Alright, I'll still take it. Hey guys, this one was a uh, 1341. It should be right in here somewhere. Well, I thought it was right in there. It'll take me a minute to find it with this big coil. I'll get back with you in a second. Alright, I was in the right area. Came out of the hole sooner. It looks like a piece of a rivet or something. It's hard to tell. It's a little brass. You can see how the green copper showing through there. The oxidation got a hole in the middle like it was a piece of a rivet or something. All right. A lot of aluminum out here. But I uh, got the sack head. Because I was very old though. But anyway, I'll take it. Uh, there's some uh, pink glass I found. I guess it's not too old. It's got numbers actually embossed on the uh, bottom of it. Hey guys, I'm working my way between the uh, corn and the and these trees over here. I think that's something different. So I'll for just a second here. Just... Well, that looks old as some kind of piece of uh, brass. Piece of a handle or something. It's not a good piece of brass because that green, green tint to it, green uh, patina on there.
All right, I moved and I switched over to the dais um, just because it's lighter and it's hot out here. So I have to keep taking breaks. So the um, CTX is a little heavy to um, swing sometimes, especially when it, you get tired from the heat. But anyway, um, got a 55 down in here and I got a coin. Actually, see right there, a nickel. I don't know how old. Yep, just a uh, Jefferson nickel. I'll uh, get a date off of it later. Well guys, it's a uh, beautiful day out here. Headed out to the beach area again. See what else I can find. I find a mix of stuff out there. Colonial, Civil War. Um, so I'm gonna head out here. See what I can find before it gets too hot today. Because I think it is supposed to be close to 100 today. But right now it's only about 78 I think. Got lots of water. Even got an umbrella for some shade if I need it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at the first find. I was just uh, doing along this road, headed out to the beach area. Look, I got a musket ball. And it's fire because it's flattened. Alright, that's a good start. Let's see what else we can find. Alright, guys, the beach area is right over there. This road's been here probably since ever since plantation times. I think I got a coin down in here. Oh, I just saw it for a second. Yeah, right here. Oh, I think it's a silver coin too. Oh yeah, mercury down. Alright. Looks like it's in pretty good shape too. Alright, the salt hasn't been kind to it. But it looks like it's in the teens. Here you can see. But anyway, I'll see if I can get a date off of it at home. But that's good fun. Got a little silver. Alright, big old square now. Alright, deep down in that hole. And this is marsh, there's a lot of salt. But I got some lead. Let's see what it is. It's right here. Pretty sure that's a musket ball. It's the shape of the barrel. Yeah, it's gotta be what that is. That's pretty cool. See how it's the shape of the barrel like there? Right there. <laughs> you can hardly tell. That's how hot it is. Alright, guys, this was pretty deep. Um, probably. 8 inches, maybe even 9 inches down there and I see a reeded edge. Might just be a silver quarter, but it's right there. Oh yeah, it's a silver quarter for sure. Oh, wait a minute, it might just be a flag quarter. Wow, that was deep down in there for a flag quarter. Some kind of turtle up here on the road. Let's see what it is. Oh, yep. Check him out. I don't know what kind he is. Laying eggs if it's a sheep. So I'm gonna leave her alone for it alone. Not sure what kind of turtle that is. Alright guys, it's just too hot to do much out there on the uh, beach. So I might show it to you in a second, but this looks very promising. Look at that. I don't know what 
there it is. A piece of brass of some sort. Yeah. It's pretty pretty neat looking, but I'll have to clean it up at home, see if there's any anything on it. Alright guys, I checked the hole, there's something else in there, look. And it's got the little piece on there as a cuff link. So looks like it was gold gilt at one time. I'm pretty sure the other one was the uh, other part of the cuff link. So that's pretty neat. Hold to. Alright guys, I'm at the beach area. There's a dolphin right over there. Maybe he'll come up again in a minute. Incoming tides, so I won't be able to do the water line. There he is. Hopefully, he saw him. I hope I get a better picture of him. I will. All right, guys, I'm up on the uh, island part because I know that there's activity in here, but the only problem is, is people camp in here and throw their trash in here. Actually, people that aren't supposed to be camping in here camp in here, get off a boat and come up in here. But uh, I got a coin down on this hole. I haven't even looked at it yet, I just saw it peek out, it's right there. Ah, <laughs> it's just a copper penny. That's why it's giving a real good signal, because it's copper. Well, at least it's copper. Oh, I messed up guys. I'm stuck. I got too far over that way. The ground was wet. I went through there a minute ago. <sighs> Excuse me. And I couldn't go too far so I had to back out. I backed into a soft spot. And two by four is the brick and the block. Oh man, you hear me huffing and puffing. I had to walk. All the way, I don't know if you can see it in the distance. There's a shooting stand. I had to go down there and come back. So I'm going to try to jack this thing up. I haven't panicked yet. See if I can get it out of here. Alright guys, I jacked it up. I put two fence posts and a board under there. Some Spanish moss to get some, uh, hopefully get some traction. Two boards in the front to drag the front tires over. So hopefully this will get me out of here. If not, I'm, uh, I hate to say what I have to do. My wife can't come get me, so I'll probably have to call a tow truck or a friend. I'll be phoning a friend. So let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Alright guys, I got out second attempt but I had to uh, jack the truck way up put these boards under there and bring in a bunch of dry dirt to get out of there so but I'm out and it's late and I'm running out of time so I'm gonna head on I don't know if I'll show this video or not but if you see it then that's what happened 